Hey everyone, welcome to today's completely honest, not sponsored review video of what's in this box right here. In the state of Idaho, which is small and has a low population, is far away from lots of things. <laughs> we don't get services like misfit markets or imperfect produce, although I wish we did. And we definitely don't have an Aldi, although I wish we did. Kind of investigating these services so I could do a review for you. And they were like, yeah, we don't deliver to your area. But I got an email saying that misfit markets, I hope I'm saying that right, misfit market, started delivering to Idaho and I immediately logged on, typed in my zip code. Sure enough, they said, we deliver to your area from now on. Why don't you order a box? And I was like, I will gladly do so. I will gladly do so. I wanted to tell you guys that I spent my own money on this. They have no idea I am making this video. I just wanted to see what it was like, if it was any good, and tell you my thoughts along with a little bit of a produce grocery haul for you. So first of all, this is a large box. So let's give you a little spinneroo. Like, look at this thing. Um, it is massive. I did get the Madness box, which is the larger size box for a family. Uh, and I think I ordered every other week, but you can change it at any time. So this box is $35 plus five, 99 and shipping i think like any good responsible frugal lady i decided to scour the internet for a coupon code and i found one so i got a little over ten dollars off the box i ended up paying thirty dollars total including shipping for everything that you see in this box and because i signed up they will also give you a coupon i will have a link down below it'll save you 30 percent off of your box if you guys want to try it out too i think it's the same percent code i found if you wanna try, if you don't wanna use my code, go on the internet and find another one. I'm sure there's another one out there that you can use. Now let's dig in here and see what we can find. So you do get to pick what is in your box, which I thought was very cool. So you got to pick like six items from this list and six items from this list and like two items from this list. So I did get to pick what they had available and then they also have specialty ingredients that you can add on to your box. I didn't do that. $30 for everything in here and let's kind of dig it out. This is first time I'm pulling it out of this box. We're gonna see how everything looks. Two like gorgeous looking heads of organic kale, like large, what do they call this? Like Tuscan kale, if I remember right. They said rainbow carrots and I just got yellow and orange. I don't see any purples in here. That would have been fun. This is, uh, oh, it's like a cool pack. Okay. So that keeps everything cold. Although in Idaho, not needed because guess what? It's snowing outside. Uh, Roma tomatoes. That looks a little squished. Yeah, those look okay to me. Three Roma tomatoes. No problems so far. I had a lot of people comment when I posted it in my community tab that they had tried it and they would get like rotten food and stuff. I am not seeing that at the moment. So that's good news. I have a bunch of radishes. A couple fell off and I will say, oh, the leaves look very gross. The radishes themselves look okay. Okay, what does this say? Here's what makes our food a little bit different. So basically the premise of the company and the same thing with imperfect foods is there are foods that are deemed unfit for grocery stores because they're not as pretty. So this is like high quality organic produce that companies will throw away because it might look a little funny. So this is supposed to help break the cycle of food waste. Items might be too big, misshapen. There might be superficial blemishes, damaged packing, um, a little bit of bruising. Okay, organic red kale. Totally fine, nothing wrong with that. I would buy that in a store. Two eggplants, I will say there, this one has like a small bruise here. There's a little bit of dimpling here, um, but otherwise they look okay to me. Grape tomatoes, the container is very squashed but the tomatoes on the inside look fine. Oh, I have more radishes. Oh, good. Oh my gosh, look at this broccoli. <laughs> okay, that looks fine, but like, look at the size. Like you would never buy that in a grocery store because it's like all stem and not very much of the florets. That is very funny. Okay, I have some rainbow chard that looks gorgeous actually tons of lettuces i did get some squashes i don't remember what kind of squash that is and i don't know how to cook it either very cute lots of lettuces i have a red leaf two red leaves this one's a little on the small side they're both a little on the small side they look fine to me i am running out of room okay time to move that oh there's more tomatoes okay more roma tomatoes more of these tomatoes two heads of green leaf lettuce you can tell it's kind of like broken here aside from maybe a couple of dark spots, like that spot's kind of gross. 
but overall they look all right. More kale and chard, two cukes. And lastly, I have four green bell peppers. This one's a touch, like they're a little wrinkly. I buy the clearance bell peppers all the time at the grocery store. The box is now empty and my hands feel a little wet. Here's the whole shot of everything that was in the box. So with the discount code, this is 30 dollars worth of produce right here. It's okay of a price. I don't feel like it's spectacular in any way. At my stores are right now are about a dollar fifty to two dollars per head here. So if we go with the two dollars, this would be eight. You know, these are about two dollars, two to four dollars each, depending. These can be expensive. This can be expensive. The broccoli is very, very sad. Like I would say I would probably spend close to this on my own in my own grocery store. However, all of this is organic and those definitely drive the prices up. So there's no way I don't think I could spend $30 on organic produce and get all of these things. They look pretty good, don't you think? Here's some close ups. <laughs> thoughts. I think it's fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. Maybe don't think you need to do it every week unless you have a large family, you want a lot of produce. Maybe you're a vegetarian or something like that and you do go through all of this. I'm trying to figure out what in the world am I going to make with all this stuff right now. If you want to see some ideas of what I am going to do with it, I do a video coming out next week on like a clean out the freezer, what's for dinner kind of a video. I believe Wednesday of next week. So you're going to want to subscribe and come back so you don't miss that video. I'm gonna keep mine, I think, at every other week. See how it goes. I wanna see if I experience what other people experience, like the food is really for the garbage, it's not edible, uh, which I've heard some reviews as far as that goes. I wanna see if the variety changes at all and then what the prices are gonna be on some of the specialty ingredients, which I would like to branch out and try some of those just because it's hard for me to find specialty ingredients in my area. So if you wanna get some produce, like high quality organic produce at a discount, use my code or another code on the internet and you don't wanna leave your house, <laughs> this is a great option for you, I think. Um, I'm pretty impressed with how everything looks. Nothing is gross. I don't think I'm gonna have to throw anything away. So for me, I call it a win. And since we're talking about things that show up, I have actually something else to show you, so hang on. Okay, I just put in an order for my next Grove box and it just showed up. So, I wanna show you what was in here too. Grove is basically a mail order service as well with mostly cleaning products, I guess. And they gave me a free gift. Check it out. Rejuvenating body wash oat milk with notes of almond, vanilla, blossom, and sandalwood. I have a candle that is sandalwood that I really like. It's very uh, woody masculine scent. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I was gonna smell it for you guys, but it's sealed. Anyway, that was my free gift. If you guys have not signed up for Grove, you wanna try out like the free VIP membership for 90 days or something like that, I do have a link down below and it gives you a free gift as well. It's probably different than this one, but it's there if you wanna try. Oh my gosh, I just threw, <laughs> I cannot believe that did not break. Is it glass? I just flung it on the floor. Okay, I have some uh, soy candles. I, it was wrapped in this and I just thought it was packing paper. Okay, I'm being more careful this time. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that. I am such an idiot. <gasps> From my order. I like, I'm like really shocked that I did that. In my order this time, I got a couple of different candles and some hand soaps for all of my bathrooms, mostly. Um, and then, oh, I did get the pine uh, this is a holiday scent, this Iowa pine in the dish soap and the multi-surface cleaner. And I really like the green. I think the green is pretty. The hand soap. Okay, so that's that's the one of the holiday scents. The Just because I like, I don't know, I like really good smelling things. Oh, it's so light and fresh. I really like that. It's not, it's not overly Christmas like like cinnamon and spicy and those scents can be a lot. Oh, and then that candle is the Iowa pine. Okay, so that's my Christmas kit right there. And then I also, sorry, I'm not even in the shot. I also got the peppermint candle and the snowdrop. Okay, so I got all the holiday candles just cause I wanted to. <laughs> all right, let's smell this peppermint one. This, I dropped this glass thing on the floor and it didn't break. 
Oh, that is lovely. It's straight up candy cane. Snowdrop. It smells like. Oh, I like that one. I should have bought more of this one. Citrusy floral. Oh, that is that is lovely. I I like the snowdrop one a lot. And then three hand soaps, um, orange clove lavender and honeysuckle is what i got from grove so yeah this is basically just um online shopping things showing up at my front door haul video basically i only order from grove like every three months uh not very often but i'm really liking some of these holiday scents they're super nice i've got links for everything down below if you want to go check it out thanks for hanging with me today if you guys haven't seen my free thanksgiving dinner at walmart video i will leave that uh, down below for you to go check out. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.